paint so i will also show what is uh, I, the today the mostly the video is about to be about brain gym i will show you how to do so what is brain gym brain gym is a activity which you have have to move your hands you have to move your head you can you have to move your shoulder you have to concentrate and do it it could it will be hard but as you practice and as you practice it will um, you will get benefits for your brain like it will boost your brain you can study well uh, and many more so today i'm going to show you the activities of brain gym how to do brain gym so this is exercise number 1 keep one hand on the table like this and the other hand like not facing the table and you have to change it like this then again change it like this change it change it continuously change it but we you can speed up as you practice more but notice one thing if you do this that's wrong right. You have to lift your hand up and turn and keep it back. You can't just do this. If you do that, you are not concentrating at all. Okay. So the other exercises, you have to keep your hand like this. You can make a big fist like this, and you can see my left thumb is on over the right thumb. So what you have to do is get to put the right thumb or the left thumb not only the right thumb you have to move your fingers along to like this just like that then your right pinky left pinky will be over the right pinky change it like that change it change it change it change it change it change it so that was exercise number 2 now let's begin exercise number 3 keep your fingers like this and when you have to uh, like you can see that my middle finger is joined with the, my index finger and my ring finger is joined with my pinky finger so you have to change it like this your middle finger should be touching the ring finger like that and again you have to change it like that like that and like that and like that and like that so you can see you can do these uh, things well like this exercise will boost your brain so i'm not going to end it here i'll show you some more exercises so this is one of the most exercise which you have to do you have to concentrate very well so keep your one one of the hand it could be any hand right right or left you have to keep it but if my hand if i use the left hand i should use the i should put my left hand over the right shoulder i can't put it on the left shoulder i have to put it on the right shoulder so if you it same thing goes to the right hand if i put my right hand i can put it on my right shoulder i have to put it on the left shoulder so keep your left hand on the right shoulder and your face you have to turn it but you have to concentrate on it it's not just any turning it is con- uh, there's a method of turning always when you start turning you have to turn the opposite direction of the hand my hand goes this way my head should turn that way like this and you have to make another round and you can you have to face the left side then again you have to come to the middle Then you exchange. Now you go to the opposite direction of my hand and turn face the hand and face the middle. Now you do it in uh, do it a bit fast. I just taught you how to do it. So now I'll do much more faster that you can just know how it's done. Sorry. Notice one thing. If you do the mistake again like this, you have to try it again. So let's see how many times you can do. 
So the other exercise we are going to talk about is going to be the last one. It's called the lazy eight. Keep your finger pointing at one, at one like straightly. You have to only focus on your finger. You shouldn't focus on anything else. Now, lazy eight. What do you think of eight? We write, yes, we are about to write eight, uh, imaginary eight. But we write eight like this. But in lazy eight, we have to write it horizontally, like this. And again, stop in the midpoint. We start from the midpoint, again stop at the midpoint. Like that, we do on and on. Our concentration only should be at the finger. Some people could go like this and like this and they could be wrong. But be careful, notice that you have to draw a horizontal line. Even there's a sign for it. It's called infinity. I think you probably have heard about it. So, thank you guys. Thanks for watching me. Please subscribe and turn on the notification bell. And like and comment down below. Thank you. Bye.